DJ C.A. Whiny, that's me, back again with another video. Make sure to go cop the hats, DJKane.com. This is the Ones and Twos podcast. This is Kane, not Abel, so let's get it. Occasionally, when I post my flyers on social media, you dudes be hitting me up saying, yo, Kane, are there going to be girls there? Are there going to be some pretty females there? Listen, we're in Dallas, Texas, man. The obvious answer is going to be yes. So I don't know why you guys are so apprehensive about going out to places or whatever, you know. Um, if you go out often, you should know that, yeah, it's going to be girls out here. And now a lot of y'all thinking, like, why do I need to go out anyway? Like, y'all just go out, people just go out just to drink and all the blah, blah, blah. That's not the only reason why people go out, okay? People go out because naturally as human beings, we're meant to socialize. Like, if you're, like, early 20s 30s you know whatever you need to be out here networking because how there's no way you can become successful if you're not networking in anything you do trust me like you're capping you're putting a glass ceiling on your whole entire life if you're not out here networking i'm not saying you got to always go to like a club or a bar or whatever but just get out the house get out the house bro i don't know why y'all are like Bitching and complaining about it ain't no girls out here. It ain't no no dudes out here, whatever. When you you stuck up in the house, you right. Okay, I get it. The twenty dollar bottle of whatever Mad Dog or whatever it costs. Now you rather get that, order a pizza, hook up your stuff to Spotify and chill out the house with your dog or your cat or something, and then complain about you can't find no man, find no good girls out here. Instead, you should be literally budgeting and, you know, you may have to spend that $10, $15 a drink. I mean, you shouldn't be drinking that much anyway, but you could just sip on. You could literally get alcohol free stuff. But anyway, you rather you should rather invest that into your networking. Yes. $15 a drink. Oh, my God. That is a lot of money. Some stuff I had be costing 20 Plus, I'm, wow, that's a lot of money. I get it. But you're not paying just for the drink. You're paying for the ambiance, for the experience, for the entertainment. Shouts out to the DJs. So that's why, bro, y'all are having this issue. I don't know what it is, man. It's a lot of women out here. We're in Dallas, Texas. It's a big city. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of girls out here who are POS it's a lot of girls out here who be scamming, who looking for sugar daddies. I see it all the time. But you could use your you can use your discernment and you'll filter out the good girls out here, man. Trust me. And it don't have to always be a nightclub. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's gotta be a bar where it's DJs playing ratchet music or super hype music. It ain't always gotta be that. One recommendation I say, man, if y'all are trying to look for like quality stuff. Go to more like upscale clubs, okay? Upscale clubs, I'm telling you. Clubs that have like a dress code. More likely than not, if you go to places that require a dress code, you're going to find more professional people than clubs that allow you to walk in with your basketball shorts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's one recommendation I can give. Uh, another thing I got to say is that, um, you know, just – Try to go to places that have maybe like brunch, um, brunch hours, like places that may be open at like 11 a.m. or whatever. You might have a better chance of finding more quality people like that. I don't know. I'm not saying you can't find them in the nightlife, whatever you can, but um, you just have to get up out the house. Now, look, another thing I got to start doing or stop doing is get off the dating apps. I don't even know if people are still using dating apps like that in 2023. But get off the tender, the bumble, and all that crap. Trust me, that stuff is a waste of time. You are not going to find no quality people on that at all. Those apps are literally, it's, it's some bull, bull crap, okay? It's better to meet the girl in person, trust me. Because when you see a woman in, in person, you're seeing her in real time, okay? And I say apps, dating apps, because I guess I could kind of consider Instagram and Facebook a dating app. Inst you know, Instagram, TikTok, maybe you can stick with those. Those are cool because just like real life, you're seeing her in real time. They make real life updates on Instagram. 
Tinder, they don't do that. They have pictures from like 10, 15 years ago that they post up on their Instagram. They post their stories, whatever. You can see them in real time. So, but I mean, I wouldn't even advise, you know, going off Instagram, hitting up girls or guys like that anyway, but you should just meet them in person. Trust me, meet people in person. Get up out the house, man. Get your ass up off the couch and get out. I'm telling you. Go to TikTok, whatever. Look at reviews and clubs in your area and go out and mingle, man. Trust me, you guys are wasting y'all's time sitting up in the house, being bored, playing video games all day. You know, you're getting older by the minute and you're thinking like, dang, man, like, what the hell's going on? Like, <laughs> bro, y'all, because you sitting up in the house, you sitting up in the house, bro. You sitting up in the house. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got to get up out the house now. You know, they say like growing pains, you know, that's like, this is like the growing pain, you know, because I, I think. Inherently, I think most people are kind of introverts. I think being an extrovert is kind of a, it's like an uncommon trait or it's something that is developed. Okay. So you might have to develop that extrovert of trait and get up out the house. Cause that's the only way you're going to get somewhere in life. Trust me. I mean, I don't know. Y'all could deal with social media, not saying it's not going to work for you, but uh, it's like a crapshoot, man. You're just throwing, you know, whatever and, hoping something hits um but if you go out in person you have a better chance of see seeing what you really like um real life interactions uh you know when you're texting somebody or instagram with somebody you, you know you, you 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 can take your time with that message you know you you meet somebody in person they gotta literally say it off the fly there's no filter so you're seeing them for how for who they are and this should all be self-explanatory but this is for my people out there who just Bitching and complaining about ain't no good women, ain't no good men out there. Y'all see my post that I put on Instagram. I'm not saying, y'all, I'll just be posting my observations, you know. I'm not trying to down anybody or whatever like that, but I'll be posting my observations. But anyway, long story short, my guys, stop hitting me up asking me, are there going to be girls out there? This is self-explanatory. Um, y'all should know the deal. Get your ass up out the house. It's your boy DJ Kane. I'm out. Yeah.